Let's talk about the order of draw. In the hospitals, you'll see different colored tubes. Each tube has a different additive inside that either helps the blood clot, prevents clotting, or preserves the sample depending on the test the lab needs. This means you can't just grab any tube. You have to pick the right one in the correct order so the results aren't messed up. Let's walk through them. For each tube, you'll hear how many inversions. This means that you gently mix the tube to avoid hemolysis, but inversion does not mean shaking the tube. All right. First up, we have blood cultures. You always want to draw these first to prevent contamination. Next is our light blue tube tops. This is used for coagulation tests. So tests like PT, INR, PTT, fibrinogen, and D-dimer. It's important that you know these must be completely filled. This requires three to four gentle inversions. Then we have our red tube tops or clot activator. This is used for chemistry, immunology, and serology. This requires four to five gentle inversions. Versions. Then we have our gold tops or SST, serum separator tubes. This is used for chemistries, but specifically tests like antigen antibodies, serology, immunology, or toxicology. This requires four to five gentle inversions. Then we have our green tube tops, light green or dark green. These are used for routine chemistries and plasma tests, tests like ammonia and electrolytes. The light green top is for lithium heparin and the dark green top is for sodium heparin. This requires 8 to 10 gentle inversions. Then we have our lavender or pink tube tops or EDTA. This is used for hematology. Tests like RCBC, ESR, HbA1c, and blood typing. This requires 8 to 10 inversions. And last we have our gray tube tops. This is used for glucose and lactic acid. It's also used for ETOH or alcohol levels. These have additives like sodium fluoride and potassium oxalate. This requires 8 to 10 inversions. That's all for the order of draw.